Well, as you know, I, I chair LEPRA, which is an NGO concerned with leprosy and um, elephantitis. And we work mainly in um, India and Bangladesh, but also in parts of Africa, where leprosy is there and it's not gone away, even though it is a completely treatable disease. And our experience at LEPRA is that the number of men and women who get leprosy is close to equal one-to-one, one. but always less women we find are diagnosed than men. And this has become worse during the pandemic. And there are a number of factors that actually work against women, it seems, to get treatment and who can get diagnosed with leprosy. First of all, in health services in those areas aren't very near to where people live all the time. And there are distances that people have to travel to get health care. And sometimes in those societies, because of cultural reasons, women need permission from men to visit doctors. There's also often a lack of female staff in the health service in those countries. And sometimes assessments are not carried out in the way they need to be for women, in that they need to be private. You need to have it under cover or in a house rather than in the open. And then when women think they may have leprosy, there are cultural factors that come to play that make it very difficult for them. Women often fear that disclosing they have leprosy will lead to discrimination, um, that they'll result in being excluded, that they'll end up being separated from their children, that they'll end up being divorced. And women who have leprosy may feel that because of that disability, that they may be subject to abuse, possibly even physical abuse. And they also worry about the treatment um, that might result in them having, for example, pigmentation on their skin and making their marriage prospects less than they might be. So women who fear that they will be less desirable in the marriage market because they have leprosy won't want to know that they have leprosy. So for all those reasons, women don't come forward to be diagnosed, don't get the treatment that they need. And it is a shame because as I've said at the beginning, uh, leprosy is a completely treatable, curable disease. Whereas I mentioned, people have barriers and lepra works in a number of different ways to try to reduce those barriers. But most importantly, we make sure that our teams always have a man and a woman because women in these societies feel more comfortable, understandably, with another woman helping them um, diagnose and treat them. So we always make sure that a woman is there in the team to work with women to help them feel more comfortable coming forward. Another thing that we do is we try to reach households early in the day before the women have, and men have gone off to work or the children have gone off to school, because it's more likely that they will feel receptive to um, being uh, treated or to being diagnosed uh, in an active way. And therefore, we're thinking about them and how we work with them rather than what's best for us. And maybe it's more convenient to come in the afternoon for us, but that's not the way it works. We have to think of the patient or the potential patient or the family. So in those small ways, but they're significant, we get a rapport with the women, which will help them be diagnosed. And if they have leprosy, be treated for that leprosy in a way which is sympathetic and helpful and will cure the disease. 